Today's video is about the bar bar no mi, aka the chop chop fruit. I don't really have an intro, so let's just hop right into it. Subscribe and enjoy. The bara bara no mi derives from the Japanese onomatopoeia bara bara, meaning disconnected, disperse, in pieces, and asunder. Like most devil fruits, the bara bara no mi is composed of several spherical parts with swirls and green leafage resting at the top. The appearance resembles that of a pineapple or an enlarged raspberry. The bara bara no mi is orange in the manga, however, in the anime, it is purple. Interestingly, the fake Bara Bara no Mi buggy A in the anime is orange. The only known user of the Bara Bara no Mi is the current user, Star Clown Buggy. The Bara Bara no Mi allows the user to split their body into pieces, and while that may seem like a simple ability, there's a lot of intricacies which give this devil fruit more nuance. For starters, the Bara Bara no Mi grants the user immunity from cutting attacks. This immunity is always active, the same way Luffy's immunity to blunt force damage is always active. The only true way to bypass this immunity is if one were to infuse hockey into their cutting attacks. Even then, the user can still manage to split themselves apart to dodge the attacks if they know how to time it correctly. But this doesn't mean that it is impossible for the user to be cut. They still can, but unlike everyone else who loses control of the body part that was dismembered or dies if the cut was severe enough, the user can just reform themselves as if it never happened. They don't even bleed when they are cut. But to be fair, a fan did ask Oda why Buggy doesn't bleed when he splits himself apart, and Oda said that that would make him too scary, and I completely agree with that. It would be pretty graphic to draw Buggy using his powers if he were gushing blood every time. The user doesn't need an outside cutting force to split their body into portions. They are capable of doing it on command. Buggy does this frequently to dodge attacks. Splitting your body into sections to avoid attacks seems great at first glance, but an opponent can only fall for it so many times. And if the opponent is a skilled fighter, then you're still exposed to another attack if you're not prepared to react in time. Splitting your body into portions is alright, but that alone really isn't impressive. This fruit has two other unique abilities that make it worth consuming. The Bara Bara no Mi also grants the user levitation and a free control of their split body parts as long as their feet remain planted to the ground. So you can make your whole body or sections of your body levitate, but the drawback is the user must remain in a specific radius. How big is this radius you may be thinking? Well, it's 200 bara bara diameters. I mean, it's not an actual unit of measurement, but it doesn't seem like it's too large based off of the visual representation. But there is a way to bypass the drawback of the user having to have their feet remain planted if they want to levitate. If someone else who also has their feet planted on the ground were to pick up the user's feet, then the user can still levitate, but whoever is carrying the user's feet must also remain in the user's radius. Another quirk of this devil fruit is when the user splits their hands from the rest of their body, the hands alone can carry objects much heavier than the hands themselves. Buggy's hands were able to carry Jinbei and Luffy, while it didn't seem like Buggy was struggling too much. One of the most mind-blowing abilities the Bar Bar no Mi grants is that the user can survive the rest of their lives without having their whole body intact. At the end of the Orange Town arc, and during a Buggy's cover story, he's just a head with hands and feet. Be that as it may, he's completely capable of surviving without his heart, liver, intestines, stomach, and pretty much every other organ aside from his brain being attached to him. It doesn't matter how far the user is from their dismembered body parts, they can be well outside that 200 bar bar diameter and still operate as normal as they possibly can. Sure, when Buggy was launched out of Orange Town, his torso and limbs were practically useless to him. He couldn't do anything with them because he was on another island as a head with hands and feet. But they seem to have one important role, even though they're separated. And that role is for his organs to do what they normally do. During Buggy's cover story, we can see that he's trying to eat a bird, and he does later eat with Alvita. So either he's eating for pleasure or to satiate his hunger. Personally, I believe it's because of the latter. Buggy still feels pain when his body is separated and someone attacks him. So if his nerves are still working to the point where he can feel pain, I think it's safe to assume his heart is still pumping blood as normal, as well as all of his organs functioning normally if he could still feel pain and get hungry, without those parts being attached to him. Here's where the Bar Bar no Mi gets a lot more interesting. Dracul Mihawk slices Buggy into very thin pieces, but the fact Buggy reformed himself from such small pieces and just shrug off the attack takes the Bar Bar no Mi to a whole new level. We've only ever seen Buggy use the Bar Bar no Mi to split his body 
body into large sections, but we don't know if the fruit is capable of splitting the user into smaller pieces, like Mihawk did to him without the prerequisite of someone cutting the user. If the user can chop themselves to such a minuscule scale to the size where a person can't perceive them with the naked eye, that's pretty busted. The applications of this fruit would be insane. The user could essentially disappear and reform elsewhere in a matter of seconds. I would have a no doubt that the Barabaranomi would be a top tier devil fruit for espionage and assassination. I don't exactly know how the user's organs function if they were spliced to such a small scale, but Buggy survived no problem. I mean, at least it makes it harder for someone to stab your heart when you're sliced into hundreds of pieces. Buggy's not really a fighter, and he mainly uses his powers for trickery and deception, so he's probably reaching the limit of what he can do with the Bara Bara no Mi. But I do think it is attainable for a user of this fruit to reach such feats if they were to train extensively. And if they got on-point hockey to the point where they can see in the future like Katakuri, then they can effortlessly dodge attacks, and it's GG. Now let's take a look at some moves we've seen from this fruit. Bar bar ho. While holding a weapon, the user fires their hand at the target to impale them. Bar bar ho. Kiri hanishi. The same as the bar bar ho, but they add their forearm to the attack. If the opponent grabs the forearm to stop the attack, they can simply detach their hand from their forearm and impale the target. Chiyo ho. Bar bar ho. The user fires their hand to grab the opponent's leg to ensnare them, or at least catch them off guard. Bar bar senbai. With knives attached to the user's shoes, they throw their lower half at the target. Bar bar kinkyu dashu. This is the user's go-to move in order to dodge incoming attacks. Whenever a certain portion of their body is being targeted, they detach themselves at where they're about to be attacked to avoid harm. Kuchu kirimomi dai circus. The user grabs onto the opponent, then detaches their hands to lift the target into the air. The user then spins the target with their hands before sending them spiraling toward the ground. Bar bar festival. This is Buggy's ultimate technique. The user splits their body into portions and then uses those portions to attack the opponent with a barrage of body parts. And my personal favorite move, the Bar Bar Car. The user uses a set of wheels and a bomb engine to alter their body so they can replicate a car. Lastly, here's some interesting facts about the Bar Bar no Mi. There are a few devil fruits which operate in a somewhat similar way to the Bar Bar no Mi. The Bar Bar no Mi is immune to cutting attacks but weak to blunt force damage while the Gomu Gomu no Mi is immune to blood force damage, but weak to cutting attacks. Just like the Bar Bar no Mi, the Berry Berry no Mi also allows the user to split their body into pieces. However, they take the form of spheres. Additionally, the Ape Ape no Mi is kind of the inverse of the Bar Bar no Mi. It allows the user to splice others into pieces, instead of the user getting spliced into pieces. The Bar Bar no Mi was the second devil fruit to have its powers shown, the second devil fruit to make an appearance, the second devil fruit to be shown eaten, and for the longest time, the second paramecia to be revealed. But with the true nature of the Gomu Gomu no Mi coming to light, this makes the Bar Bar no Mi the first paramecia ever introduced in the series. In the One Piece live action, the Bar Bar no Mi has been altered, so it now has additional strengths and weaknesses. The user no longer needs their feet to remain on the floor in order to levitate, and a blunt force damage attacks just knock pieces of the body out from the user. A huge detriment the live action version has is the user cannot use their spliced body parts if the body parts have been confined inside an object. But there you have it, that's the Bar Bar no Mi, aka the Chop Chop Fruit. And if there's someone or something in one piece you want me to cover next, then feel free to let me know. If you enjoyed, then like, comment, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.